This year, I want you to try one thing and you won't believe the reaction, okay? And that is send a one-to-one -one video to someone over LinkedIn. Now, here's how you do it, and then I'll tell you when to do it, okay? All you need to do is shoot a video, a selfie video to one person, personalize it. So, hey, Rick, great meeting with you today. I just want to say thank you very much for the time. Whatever your message is, keep it short, okay? Shoot the video. It's on your phone. Then go to LinkedIn and go in the messages area and select the person. And you're going to see a little kind of, um, you know, a, a staple icon there in the corner. And then what I want you to do is select that, insert the video and send. Okay. Now what's going to happen is the other guy's going to get the video and I can guarantee you are probably the only person that's going to send them a video this year, never mind last year. And so when do you use these one-to-one -one videos? You can use them uh, before a meeting, after a meeting, to review a proposal, to demonstrate your product again. Hey, remember I was telling you this, I want to show you that. The one-to-one -one video could be the most underutilized sales enabler right now on the market. Give it a try. This year, to achieve our goals and beyond, we need to figure out ways to replace manual tasks with automation, okay? Now, whether that's AI or something else, I think you need to do a deep search, whatever your role is in sales, and figure, okay, how can I use technology to advance, accelerate, or you know, overachieve in terms of success? Now, a couple of things, basic things salespeople are doing. Number one, they're automating emails, for example. So rather than you start at the keyboard from a cold start every time, maybe you've got templates that would automate. You insert the name, boom, away you go. Uh, for booking appointments, follow-up emails, all those types of things. Proposal templates, another time killer that could be automated. Input one variable, boom, it populates throughout, et cetera. My point is that the more you can automate that will give you more time to sell to win. So if you haven't looked into automation yet, trust me, it's already here. You just may not have found it yet. Let me ask you a quick question here. How strong are the visuals you use on your sales calls or presentations? Now, if you had to rate them on a one to 10 scale, I don't know what you'd rate them, but I can tell you a lot of salespeople we work with, they Frankenstein a mix of what the manufacturer gave them, what their company gave them, what the guy in two cubicles down gave them, and they just look like a disaster. And yet visuals are so important, right? This year, people comprehend things 30 to 60,000 times faster with a visual versus text or even verbal communication. And so I just wanted to challenge you to stop and think about what you're showing your customer to show and sell those visuals in 2023. Because simplification and visual use is going to beat a lot of people when it comes to trying to explain something or educate on something. So take a look at your visuals. And if you haven't tuned them up for 2023 yet, give it a try. You know, at the Midway last year, I changed the title on my business card to Digital Sales Coach. And a lot of people, I think, said, hey, you know, Rick, you're doing a lot on LinkedIn. And, you know, what about traditional selling, meaning knocking on doors in person? And I just want to tell you that I think in 2023, the more time we can spend physically with a prospect or a customer is going to be so much more valuable than it's ever been in the past. Okay. So if you're someone that follows me on LinkedIn or you've been to one of my events, you know, I'm a big proponent of using technology to sell technology specifically LinkedIn, to secure meetings, to earn trust, to earn the opportunity to advance sales cycles, prove your capability, et cetera. But I just think some people have gotten away from the value of an in-person meeting. And I think this year, that's going to be more valuable than it ever has in the past. If you're a sales professional, there's nothing wrong with being in the territory, knocking on doors. If you're a sales professional, get out there and meet with somebody. At minimum, give them a phone call, right? That human interaction, I think you can't beat it, even though it's 2023. One of the things I found after 20 some odd years of sales coaching is that, believe it or not, sometimes the more tenured we get in sales, the more we know and it becomes sometimes easier for us just to tell the customer what they need to know because we've seen this sales cycle happen so many times. You follow me? And so in this point here, this suggestion for 2023, 
less telling, more selling. You know, I'm doing a sales coaching event recently and I uh, was working with a group and I, I'm the customer and I rolled them into a situation where I admitted I had a problem, okay? Now, I had a tenured person, actually two of them role play, over 20 years tenure in sales. And both of them, as soon as I said I had a problem, they jumped right to a solution. Well, you know, Rick, if you've got that problem, let me tell you about our blank. And after the role plays, both of them went through, right, and tripped a bit. I said, guys, why did you not clarify? Like, Rick, when you say you got a problem, why? Do you, what do you mean by that? Like, how does that affect your business, et cetera? And my point is that I think our tendency as salespeople is to tell, once we've identified an opportunity, tell the customer we've got something for them, as opposed to sit back a little bit and diagnose before we prescribe, right? Think about it, right? Diagnose, you fully understand the problem because the bigger the problem is, the more likelihood and the more they're likely to spend on your solution. So in short, uh, make sure this year you're selling and not telling. Mm -hmm.